that's originally from Asia, uh, particularly from China, uh, Korea, and uh, eastern part of of the Soviet of the previous Soviet Union. Uh, it first showed up in uh, in Michigan, in the western suburbs of Detroit. Uh, was first recognized in 2002. Been there for six years plus before that happened. We had a numerous trees that were dead at that point. Uh, since then, it has spread through much of the lower peninsula of Michigan. It's gotten into part of the upper peninsula of Michigan and has is has heavy infestations in uh, in Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, and has been picked up in several states and near us, uh, southern uh, Missouri, just the northern part of the Boot Hill and a few miles, 15, 20 miles east of, of Louisville, Kentucky, in southern Indiana, as well as uh, in areas just north of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So uh, it's around in some various areas. The insect is such that it will, it will attack living ash trees. Uh, so far, we do not know of any ash trees that have survived on their own without assistance uh, when they've been attacked by, by emerald ash borer. It only attacks uh, trees in the genus Fraxinus, which are the true ashes. Mountain ash is not a true ash, it's a rose family plant. Uh, so it'll attack green ash, black ash, blue ash, white ash, uh, essentially any, uh, any of those ash trees it will attack. And uh, essentially the uh, eggs are laid underneath the loose pieces of bark. The eggs will hatch and tunnel down into the cambium area. The cambium area is the area underneath the bark that produces phloem or, or sap conducting tissues to the outside towards the bark side and xylem or water conducting tissues to the inside. It's the most active area of transport within the tree. If you were the insect larva tunnels, which, which is a white elongated insect, tunnels down inside through the bark, feeds in the cambium area, uh, will feed throughout the balance of the summer. If those eggs hatch relatively early in the season, uh, in the summer, it will then go ahead and tunnel down as cool temperatures arri arrive in the fall. It will tunnel down into the sapwood as much as a half an inch and pupate there. It will overwinter as a mature larva, pupating later in the winter, early spring, coming out the following year as an adult beetle. And the insects will come out and the adult insects will fly about a half a mile uh, to uh, generally to, to other trees. It's typically how far they typically fly. Uh, when we have high infestations and the trees are dying in a particular area, there's some evidence that the insects will fly somewhat farther than that. It's inevitable that we're going to have the emerald ash borer in our community. It's just a matter of how soon. So we need to start thinking about managing our ash trees and our ash tree removals now rather than later.